Hello, my name is Seb and welcome to this game right here and it's called House Flipper 2. I'm really excited because I really, really enjoyed this game. This is one of my favourite games so far this year that I've played and it's so relaxing. This is just a feel-good game and I can't wait to get into this. Now, one of the reasons I'm playing this game is because this game is coming out on consoles next week. So I'm really, really excited for that. For those of you who follow me for a while, you'll probably notice that I have a little bit of a chesty cold right now, but that's okay. I'm still delivering and I'm still going strong. However, if you're new here, I just want to mention that we are Jump Inside Games and the way we do our content is we like to deliver you the first hand experience of what a game actually feels like. So what we're going to do is we're going to record two hours of gameplay and we're going to narrow it down into a 10 minute segment of content, delivering you kind of what the experience is of this game, which is House Flipper 2. And this game, by the way, is absolutely amazing and I can't wait to show you it. So let's get started. So as you start off, you wake up out of bed, you learn a few of the controls, but Mainly, this is to just get you started on what's happening. Just get used to the controls in the game. It's a bit of a tutorial, but it's not really. Hello there. Look who's decided to message me after all these years. So, you're interested in house flipping, and you came back to good old Pinnacove to find a job like that. During this game, you'll have different options throughout phone calls. So, if you do have to answer a phone, you'll be able to select certain outcomes for what you want your character to say. Oh, so the renovation you asked about wasn't just an example. You actually wanted to work on the Driftwood House. Well then, I'm afraid I don't have good news for you. The town council put turning it into a community center on hold. But we're going to skip all that and we're going to get straight on with going through the menu, checking your emails and actually accepting your first job, which is actually quite a fun little beginning job to do. If you like House Flipper, the very first game, then this game is only to improve upon. Now, I heavily state improve because what this game really does is it just adds more. So if you've got the last game and you enjoy the last game, definitely stick to playing that game. But if you want more, get this game as well. It doesn't just improve, but there's more of it. So if you do want to do more house flipping, this game is definitely a good direction to get. However, the original game is still relevant and it's still so, so awesome. So really, if you're a big fan of house flipper, this is definitely a good direction to go for because you just get more of the stuff that you already love. Now, enough with that. Let's get on with the actual house flipping, the fun part of this game. So we've got loads of different things on our screen right now, and I'm just going to walk you through them as we proceed. Uh, just to let you know, when I first played this, I had no idea exactly what some of this stuff meant. So I'm going to try and give you a bit of a lowdown. Now, you already know about your tools. You know what they all do if you've played the original. If you don't, then this trash thing picks up trash and then you can get this trash and then you can throw it into the bin, just like I've done there. Now, in the top right hand area, you see the quest icon. What that means is that's how much progress I've got until I've completed this house. The more that yellow bar fills up, the closer I am to completing. Now, there are a few things you can do in this game, like you can sound loads of equipment and on this screen right here, it tells me all the equipment stuff that I can sell inside this house. So for example, if there is a image of a fish, I can sell a fish. And as I walk through different rooms in this house, that screen will change depending what room I'm in. So it will let me know all the stuff I can sell in that particular room. Now, here's something that I didn't quite notice straight away when I was doing this first house. There is a scanner in this game where you can just scan around a room and you can detect items that you can sell and things that you can clean. And you can do this while you're actually in the middle of cleaning a house. So for example, in this particular house, I was trying to clean this garage. Uh, I walked into the garage and I pressed the scan button and it just detected any dirt that I didn't pick up or hadn't cleaned yet. Now this tool is very overpowered, so I tried not to use this as much as possible. However, there were times when there might have been a little smidge on the corner of a room, or there might have been something that I may have slightly missed. I would just use that scanner just to do the last percent that I couldn't find or locate. However, I wouldn't use this tool regularly. I try to use this as less as possible because it feels like it's just a little bit cheating. However, there are times when I'd say you'd probably like to use this. Like for example, if you just wanted to quickly clean off a house 
and then do a full on decoration. Maybe it's a big house and you just want to get to the decorating part a little bit faster, then yes, I can see why you would do that. But if you really want the full experience, I suggest not to use this as much as possible unless there are little scraps in the corner. Oh, and this is the email section. This is how you accept your jobs. You can choose what jobs you want to do. You can scan around and you can accept whatever jobs you got. This particular job that I did right over here, I was actually able to unlock more tools. And the more you do on this game, the more tools you unlock and the more stuff you can actually do within a house. Again, different houses have different tasks to do. For example, there's a, a lot of things that you can sell in a house and you can make money off. You can also uh, complete jobs to make money off. You can go around and you can clean up trash. You can vacuum, you can unpack stuff. But one of the main things that you'll be doing quite a lot is cleaning up stains. So there will be a lot of stains in houses and you will need to clean them all up. What I like to do is get rid of everything if I have to do a buying thing. So for example, customers might want you to unpack stuff and buy stuff for the house. Uh, normally I like to leave that till last so I can actually have a fresh house to work with. It doesn't matter what you buy or where you buy it. It just matters that you buy the stuff that they request. One of the most relaxing things I found out about this game was wallpapering right here. I very much enjoyed a lot of the wallpapering because it was just relaxing and you can just select areas, wallpaper them and then you know, select more areas and wallpaper more areas. And it was just nice and relaxing. And it was very much different to the previous game. Now, I'm very new at this House Clipper 2 game. However, from what I've played so far, and a full on recording of this, I really, really enjoyed the experience that I had while playing this game. And it was really fun to play. So I'm going to leave it there and just say that if you want to check this game out then definitely check this game out if you're a fan of house flipper this game is literally just more of what you've originally played this game is awesome and i'm generally going to play a lot more of this because i very much enjoyed this one um it's relaxing Overall, I think one of the main things to say about this game is this game is overly relaxing. This is a very chill back, take your time, have a bit of a design around and just sit back and relax and play this game. This isn't a shooter. This isn't a game you've got to be active and do a lot of action stuff. This game is a sit back and relaxing game. Take your time, design and make this game of whatever you want it to be. Now, there's this little hidden thing that I didn't pick up on straight away, but this is sandbox mode, and it comes with a bunch of different building materials. Why? Because this game is going to allow you to design your own building as a such. This deserves its own video, so I'm not going to say anything or do anything for this area right now. However, what you need to be made aware of is this game does allow you not just to flip houses but design your own and create your own house so yes there it is that is house flipper 2 and if you've already played this game or if you own the game then write something down in the comments and tell me what you think about this game i absolutely love this game i'm really enjoying playing it i've only just got started in it and uh yeah that's my experience if you are thinking about getting this game please don't forget to write it down in the comments down below or if you've already got this game and there's any comments that you want to tell me about this game that I haven't fully experienced yet because I have only just got started and I am really enjoying it, then also write that down in the comments below. I'd like to play this game and read comments on the channel at the same time so I can discover more things about this game. So without no further ado, thanks so much for watching. And I'll tell you what, this is generally one of my favorite games so far this year. There are a few games that I've actually enjoyed this year and this is one of them. So there you go right there. And I will see you guys on another Jump Inside video. Hopefully I'll feel a little bit better by then. Anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye. Go and start running